Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of lines and angles. This is standard 8.8D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 36 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four triangles, and then on each of these triangles, we've got a ray sticking out. And the triangles are not necessarily drawn to scale, which is good because they all look like they're almost equilateral triangles, but their degrees are all different. So we just need to find x. Seems pretty simple. But you know what? We are kind of missing something. Take a look. We're missing this internal degree on all four of these triangles. So I'm kind of noticing that there's a pattern here. So let's see what we can figure out. We, we can figure out, and this is something we need to know going into it, that uh, the three angles of a triangle, they always equal 180 degrees. And so look at what we have here. We've got 56 and 35. And then whatever that missing one is. So let's start with this first triangle here. It's going to be 11. That's going to be 91. So it's almost 90. All right. So it's 91 degrees, uh, which means that's going to be 89 degrees just because you need that 89 in order to get your 180. So what that does is that kind of builds this one right here. So that one is on the back side. Those two together work together to make a certain type of angle, and that is actually called a supplementary angle. If you pull those two together, it's a straight line. And supplementary angles are two angles that make a straight line. And remember, a straight line is also 180 degrees. So if you unfold a triangle, you make a straight line, and you get 180 degrees. And so 89 plus 91 makes that 180. All right, so let's see if that kind of holds true here. So I've got 60 and 60. All right, that makes 120. I need to get up to 180, which that's going to leave that as a 60. That looks right. That's an equilateral triangle. All right, so there's my 180. And then does this interior angle and this exterior angle those two, yep, look at that. They make 180 as well. All right, so it kind of looks like we're getting a pattern here. First, we get the missing angle inside to make it up to 180. So let's check this one. I got 120 and 20. Yeah, that's easy. And that is going to be 140. Hmm. You know what? We just noticed something here. I wonder if you've seen it as well. And then I need an, that's 140, so I need an extra 40 right here. Take a look at this. These two equal that. And those two equal that 91. And 1660 equal that 120. So that's an interesting pattern. So because I keep having to get up to 180 and then find another way to get 180 with the supplementary angles. So I wonder if that's going to work here. 30 and 130, does that equal this right here? Is that really 160? Well, let's see. Um, 30 and 130 equals 160, yes, which means this has got to be 20 degrees because I need that to get it to 180 for interior angles. And then 20 plus 160, yep, equals, and there we go. So that is that pattern there. So let's look at our answers. It looks like x, 160, because 180 minus, so yeah, you, you internalize those, equals 20, and then, yep, and then that's that exterior angle. And so our answer here is f. 